Okay, so what we're doing here is we're looking at a zero order integrated rate law. And what we're going to find is the half life of some species, and we're just going to call that A. So let's say we're given some information here. Let's say that the initial concentration of A, let's say that's um, how about 0 0.2 molar. And what we want to do is we want to find the half life, that's T half. So in this case, we can use this equation, say if we were given the initial and you know some other concentration, we could find how long it takes, and that could just be t. But if we specify t half, we're just looking at, we're looking to see how long one half-life is, <clears throat> which is just how long it takes for the concentration to become half of what it was. Okay, so in that case, we know that if we're starting with 0 0.2 molar, um, then this the, the concentration after one half-life is going to have to be 0 0.1 molar. Uh, and let's say for this um, this equation, let's just give it a k value. Let's say it's 1.4 um, times 10 to the negative 3. And because this is zero order, that is molar per second. All right, so let's go ahead and just work through this. So what we can do, actually, before we even put in units, we can just generalize this a little bit. Um, what we can do is here, let's switch colors. Um, so if we want to change this, we know that a at t, which was here, we know that this is going to be half of a naught. So what we can do, if we want to do a little more general way to work through this, we can just say this is the same as 1 half a naught. And then we can move this over to the side, minus a naught, or a at 0. Um, it's going to be equal to negative kt, negative kt. And in this half, in this case, I guess we are technically doing t at one half. So what we can do here, well, one half minus one, we're going to have negative one half uh, a naught is equal to negative k times a half life, t half. All right, get rid of the negative signs, and what we're going to end up with here is going to be a naught over. We could put the two down on the bottom over two. K, and that's just going to be equal to our half-life. So there you go. This works for any uh, zero-order problem for a decomposition for half-lives. So we could have just worked through the actual values, but this may be a little bit easier because we're going to do another example down here. So what we want to do is we want to plug in our values that we had. So we know that a naught was 0 0.2 molar. So you can just write it here. at say um, um, let's go here 0.2 over, we had two, actually we could put units in here as well, um, times our k value, which was 1.4 times 10 to the negative 3 molars per second. All right, we're kind of running on there. So anyways, what's going to happen is when we, uh, when we go through and work this out, this is equal to our half-life, um, we're going to end up getting Basically, we'll just punch this in our calculator, and this is our time, t half, or half life, sorry, is going to be equal to 71.4 seconds. Cool. So there we go. We just started with some random concentration of this, um, of this stuff, A, and we found that our half life is 71.4 seconds at that concentration. Awesome. So now let's do... Um, let's do one more example down here, but let's start with the final concentration from the first one. So that will become our new A naught. So we'll have 0 0.1 molar. Okay, so then we know that half of that is going to be equal to 0 0.05 molar, right? And we're trying to find the half life again now. And k will be the same. I don't want to write that out again. Uh, 1.4 times 10 to the negative 3. Okay, so when we go ahead and plug it back into the same equation, because we can use this for any zero order integrated rate law problems. Uh, we'll have our new A naught is going to be equal to 0 0.1 molar. And this will be over 2 times this long number, uh, 1.4 times 10 to the negative 3 molar uh, per second. All right. And close off that bracket. So when we go ahead and work this one out, here, we'll just punch this into our calculator. Uh, if you go ahead and do that, we're going to find that this is actually equal to uh, 35, there we go, 35.7 seconds. And this is interesting. Um, this is something that you should know. 
uh, for every zero order um, decomposition problem like this or the half-life for every half-life you go it gets um, twice as fast or half as long I guess you could say so this one for each concentration right so if we started at 0 0.2 molar this one's gonna be about 71 seconds the next time we do a half-life from that final concentration which we did here it's gonna be 35 and we keep going it's just gonna keep getting half as long um, so yeah that's just something to pay attention to and I'll see you in the next one we'll talk about first-order integrated rate laws